Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Blockstream Jade Tutorial. In the previous episode, we run through how to generate a brand new wallet where you can create either a 12 words or a 24 words seed phrase. After that, we use the seed phrase and transcribe it out into a seed QR template. Now, with the seed QR template, you can easily restore the entire wallet into the Blockstream. Blockstream Jade by just scanning the code. Now the advantage of this is you do not need to keep the seed phrase or the private key permanently on the Blockstream Jade itself. Anytime you require to recover it, all you need to do is to scan it in if that is what you want. Today I will show you how to use the Blockstream Jade in a totally air gap environment where you can use the seed QR template to restore the wallet without using Bluetooth, without using cable. Next, we will send out some Bitcoin in an air gap manner without using any Bluetooth or wired connection. Okay, let's get started. Press the green button, turn it on. You will realize it will just show you initiate and advance. That means uh, there is no private key loaded into the hardware at the moment. So we go to the advance. Say recover. Okay, scan the QR. Now this one is pretty easy. You just go near and then you slowly move outward as the screen can see the whole entire QR as it goes smaller. Very easy this part. Later, we will show you the part that's a bit more difficult. So you want to interact with the whole thing using QR. No Bluetooth, no USB cable. But before that, what we want to do now is to generate what you call a watch only wallet in uh, okay today we are using blue wallet right you just click on create new wallet select bitcoin and then you do the import remember this is what you call a watch only wallet here you will find that uh, you have option to export out the public key. You scan the code where it will export, export out the extended public key. Now this public key on the other hand allows you to see all the transaction in this particular wallet but does not allow you to directly send out any Bitcoin. So uh, now that's why it's called watch only. You can watch transaction but you cannot send out without signing it. Without the hardware or the Blockstream Jade, you will not be able to send Bitcoin out. So it's pretty safe even though you load the app, what you call a companion app, even though it's a mobile wallet. In fact, the warning will tell you this is what it is. Let's click OK. OK, you wait for it to refresh. There you can see the few transactions that I've made previously. What we want to do is we will take this transaction, whatever remaining, and we'll send it out to another wallet. So 9774 sets. We'll send everything out. So of course now I choose another wallet which I have installed here is a samurai wallet. Click on receive, copy out the address, now you go back to the blue wallet, remember this is a watch only, right? Of course you can scroll through that to see what is the actual uh, amount you have in your local currency or in sets. Now click send. Okay, paste in the Bitcoin address from Samurai. 
I think I will attempt to send everything out. So let's call it a test. Test using QR to Jade. From Jade, I mean. Quick mix. Oops. Wait a minute. I didn't manage to put in all the, the full amount just now. Wait, wait. Yeah, select the full amount. Click next. Okay. This is what you call a partially signed Bitcoin transaction. Basically, the blue wallet create the transaction to be ready to be signed. So we will want to import this transaction, this particular QR code, into the Blockstream JIT itself. Now, this is the part that is a bit more, you need to be a bit more delicate. You have to point it at exactly straight on top this is the one of the best way to do it you cannot be fast you try to fill the entire screen of the the blockstream jade screen the camera with the particular uh qr code from the blue wallet it does take a couple of seconds ah there you go all right now this is the part where the blockstream jade the hardware received the transaction and decide that they want to sign it and ask you to confirm okay this is what you want to sign this one is sent out now once you say you want to sign out now it will generate another qr code now this is the signature where you need to send it back into the blue wallet so the blue wallet will be able to ascertain that you actually agreed to send it out that is where the signature part is so without the hardware wallet in this case the transaction cannot be sent out Right, verify it, and then you can send it. Done. Now that's pretty easy, isn't it? That is how you can use the Blockstream Jade in a fully air gap environment. Thank you. And if you reach all the way to the end here, be a kind soul. Click like, subscribe, and share this video to help my channel. Even better, try out the Lightning payment on the left. With most Lightning wallets that support LN URL, you can just scan it and send me a few sets. Good day.